Welcome back guys. Today we are spreading fertilizer. So this is a chemical fertilizer, not the manure kind of fertilizer. And uh, the stuff we're spreading today is a 25-5-24. Well actually it's a 23.5. But uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. It's just a stony little stony pebble like uh, your fish tank stuff and uh, yeah so the 25 524 the first number is nitrogen second number is phosphorus and your last number is your potash so we got lots of nitrogen lots of potash going on but we don't have very much phosphorus and the reason for that is we had uh, we had our field soil sample and uh, it came back that we don't need uh, very much phosphorus. So there's no sense in wasting uh, wasting your money on something that you don't need. This stuff is fairly expensive. Well, it's really expensive. Um, but yeah. So we bought this, uh, this little spreader here um, last year, I guess it was. And uh, from TSC in Sault Ste. Marie. And man, does it work nice. It's, uh, I'll just give you guys a quick little overrun on it. Changed the oil and the tractor there last night. Cleaned out uh, the air filter and all that good stuff. So you got your one setting here. So right now this arm goes down and there's this little door. There's another door on the front, as you can see. So when you pull up on that lever, it lifts these gates open and you just set your little uh, hairpin here to the desired opening that you want. Um, we're trying to put on about 150 to 175 pounds of uh, fertilizer to the acre. I apologize for the wind, nothing I can do though. Um, but anyway, so you just set that pin Pull that lever down, put, turn on your PTO, and uh, which my PTO brake is gone, but uh, when this is full, it doesn't turn. There's enough resistance. But anyway, and then uh, you just got these little fan fingers here that fling the fertilizer out. So if you want to spread it wider, um, you just lift higher up on your three-point hitch. And it gets everything a little more elevated allows you to throw a little more distance. Um, the last run, I've already done one one hopper full here, but the last run I just did, I was kind of close to the fence, so I just lowered it down and it didn't shoot as wide. Um, but yeah, yeah. Then you got this little beater in the center there, and that is all hooked up to the same PTO and that, and it just, uh, it just turns inside there and mixes everything up. If you got any clumps in that, it kind of takes care of that. So that's always going in, in the bottom there. Uh, gives you a kind of a chart here. And that's, uh, that'd be handy if I knew if my uh, RPM gauge worked, but uh, it doesn't. But I just go by kind of how much this can hold which I'm not entirely sure Jess is actually going inside to look it up right now I can't remember but um, I just did a whole hopper on this field here and I'm thinking it's about what, four or five acres so I got to try and figure out how much I just put on that but anyway and then uh, to fill it, I just use a five gallon pail and I just scoop it out, put it in the hopper. Now, this fertilizer here, you can get um, in totes like I got. You can get it by the ton in uh, 40 pound bags. Yeah, and I think you could probably get it blown in bulk maybe. I'm not sure about that though. The reason I go with this instead of the bags is, um, to me, it would just be a pain to open up bags. And, uh, sorry, it's not 40 pound bags. There's 40 bags to the ton. 
anyway. Uh, so I just don't feel like having to open up. Well, I got four tons to do today. Uh, so 160 bags. I just That'd be a lot of bags to have to open. This I can just scoop out almost a bag at a time with the pail. And you don't have bags blowing all over. Um, and then you'd have to pick them up. So this works out nice. Uh, what else? That's probably about it, really. So I'm going to get this loaded up. And we'll head back out. All right, so we got that all loaded up. We're gonna head out the driveway and go and do that field across the uh, creek. I think that's about eight acres. So let's get at her.
Well, and just like that, we're getting some rain. So the last little clip there, uh, the camera ran out of battery, and uh, that was my, what was that? That was the second field that I put fertilizer on. And uh, we ended up getting all four tons of fertilizer put out yesterday. Um, I did four tons over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields. Obviously, they were fairly small fields except for the one. Um, but yeah works out to I calculated it out there this morning roughly 150 pounds an acre it was like 153 pounds to the acre of the 25.524 and uh, yeah it it worked out perfect uh, I missed the new seeding field in the back um, there wasn't enough to do that I did one lap around the outside on it but uh, everything else got a good heavy dose of it. And uh, then I went and I harrowed uh, this little field here by the implement shed. I harrowed the corner pasture along the driveway. And I also harrowed the other field um, on the other side of the driveway. So we got some harrowing done last night. Uh, I came in, it was about 8 o'clock, and uh, yeah, we were supposed to start getting rain overnight, but we didn't. Rob was able to come and uh, plow up the rest of that field for us, that 8 acres, and um, yeah. So anyway, the rain started uh, about 20 minutes ago, and it's supposed to rain all day, which is good. Uh, for the fertilizer uh, the nitrogen they say uh, if you put the fertilizer on and uh, you don't get any moisture any rain uh, the nitrogen they say will just go airborne instead of into the ground it just goes into the air uh, which isn't very good but uh, this year we lucked out got it finished up yesterday and now it's raining within the uh, 12 hours of finishing up there so which is perfect so hopefully we get a good rain today the plowing's all done after this rain hopefully it dries up and then uh, we can get disking but uh, I fed the cows this morning the last of the hay today is I think it's May the I think it's May 17th today so that should last them through until about the 21st, 22nd of May. Yeah. So, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. And hit that thumbs up if you guys did. Leave us a comment. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And we appreciate everybody that already has. And we like the comments. Alright guys. Ciao.